Emmy. I'm part of the education team at Descanso Gardens, located in La Canada Footbridge in the northeast part of Los Angeles County. Today we're going to talk about plant adaptations. So what is an adaptation? An adaptation is a special feature that plants or animals have that help it survive in its environment. So let's go see what we can find. Rose thorns are a great example of a plant adaptation. The thorns keep away animals that want to eat the rose. Animals don't want to get hurt by the thorns, and so they move on to find plants that are easier to eat. Flowers have adapted in many different ways. Some to keep away animals that might eat them, and some to attract insects and birds to move pollen from flower to flower and create new seeds. Animals that move pollen from plant to plant are called pollinators. For example, butterflies, bees, beetles, and hummingbirds. If you look closely, you might see some bees on this plant near me. The purple color on these flowers is an adaptation that helps attract the pollinators. The Oregon grape has developed an adaptation to protect itself, these pointy leaves. When an animal tries to eat the leaves, it gets poked and moves onto another option. This helps the plant survive, similar to the thorn we saw on the rose. And I have one more to show you. This is a toyon plant. Toyon plants have adapted through seed dispersal. Animals eat the berries, scatter the seeds, and spread them through nearby areas. In this way, animals have helped many plants survive in new conditions and environments. Today we learned about special features that plants have that help them survive. Some of these special features help the plants by attracting pollinators or helping them spread their seeds. Others of these special features help the plant protect themselves from animals that might want to eat them. Together, all of these special features are called adaptations. Adaptations are like superpowers. What superpower adaptation would you want to have? To learn more, draw your own adaptation. For example, if you want to protect yourself from an animal that might try to eat you, draw a pointy leaf. If you want to attract a pollinator like a hummingbird, draw a brightly colored flower. I hope you have enjoyed your visit to Descanso Gardens and our adventure to learn about how plants have adapted. I'm Emmy, hope to see you at the gardens.